Can you give it up for Tony Potter this morning as he shares his testimony? Thank you all. Um, for my testimony to do any good, first you got to know who I am today. I'm a child of God. I have been blessed and baptized in the Holy Spirit. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. And it's not on my own. It's by the power of him who works in me that these changes have come. Um, I grew up poor in an abusive home. Uh, generational curses of addiction to alcohol and drugs. And um, I lived that life when I grew up for 29 years. I tried different rehabs. I run the clear across the United States trying to run from my habits and nothing could work. I got myself in some trouble in 2018 and uh, got put on a felony probation. When I was on that felony probation, I got really depressed because everything I had, I had lost. And um, I gave up in life and I was trying to kill myself even worse with the drugs, attempting suicide. And uh, they ended up picking me up on my warrant and I was sitting in county jail. They, I'd been in there about a month. They scheduled my court date. They told me they was going to reinstate my probation. Well, that night, I started praying to God and asking him, you know, I'm, I was tired of my life. I was tired of the way I was living. I wanted to be a good son to my dad. I wanted to be, you know, a good child of God. I wanted to be able to make a good husband for somebody someday. And, um, I just got on my knees. I gave up on myself and asked him to come help change me. And um, that, that next morning when I went to court, they uh, told me that they changed their mind. They wasn't going to reinstate my probation, but they wanted to come at me with uh, time in the Department of Corrections. So they rescheduled my court date for another month. And during that time, I just... I got a Bible and started reading the Bible and talking to God, and I found myself starting to change inside. All of a sudden, I found myself not sick of life, but sick of the sin that was in life. Um, I no longer found myself cussing anymore. Every time I did, I felt bad, so my cursing stopped. I found myself... Instead of being hateful and thinking bad about people, I started praying for them. And when I seen them hurting, I found myself hurting inside. And I knew at that, at that time that I had been baptized in the Spirit and God had called me. And um, when I went to court, they, did, they decided to give me two years in TDC. And um, I had already told my ex fiance when I went there that I was going to kill myself. I was going to hang myself right there. But... When I walked back, I found a peace come over me, so I just grabbed my Bible and went to sleep and said, before I do anything stupid, I'm just going to leave it in God's hands. And I got up the next day and just something, just a peace come over me and told me that it was a blessing from the Lord. And then uh, it was during COVID lockdown, so when I got to TDC, we was locked down in our cells 24 hours a day. So I had nothing but me and that Bible that I had. So I read it 18 hours a day. And um, for two years, I did that. When they finally let us up, about a year and a half later, I started attending the church they have there. I got baptized in TDC, but I got out five months ago, and I can say that I'm a totally different person. I, I'm a caring person. I'm a loving person. I'm a kind. I'm a man of my word with integrity. And it was not done by anything that I'd done, but it was done by the Holy Spirit and by the Lord Jesus Christ working in my heart. And I thank you for that. Thank you all. Only Jesus. Come on. Only Jesus can do that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, you may have felt like, oh man, life's over. Man, I'm going, I'm going in, in, into prison or what it, and, 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 but, but that was actually a blessing for you to be able to, I mean, 18 hours a day reading your Bible. How many of you know the Holy Spirit's going to disciple you when that happens? Come on. That was a blessing in disguise. Praise the Lord for that. Could you just share also about when you first came here and what is, what's this church done, done for you and, 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 you know, all that? Okay. Well, I told the pastor, I Googled that on online when I got it, and I did, but I looked at a few of them, and this was just where God led my heart, and when I got here, the pastor come up and met me at the door, told me who he, 
that he was Lewis, and I didn't know anything until he got up here and started preaching. I was like, well, all right. <laughs> but, but afterward, you know, he, he listened to me, and he accepted me. Being a felon, thank God that he's more forgiving than this world is because I still have a hard time finding a job and everything. This world is not very forgiving, but, but the pastor is taking me under his wing. He checks on me all the time. He's giving me work. He's taking me to, to dinner with him and some of the other pastors and really encouraging me with um, a ministry that I'm trying to start with God's Miracle Motorsports and Ministries. It, it, something God put on my heart, and he's been real encouraging to me. I've been trying to share the Word of God and the Gospel online on Facebook. And I'm not a very good preacher, but... <laughs> <laughs> but but this church and everybody here, I want to thank you all for welcoming me, for accepting me who I am. And, and I just, it's been a true blessing to, to be here, and I just thank you all very much. Amen. So, he is a preacher, and he's a good preacher. You need to go follow him on Facebook, Tony Potter, two T's. P-O-T-T-E-R, pull up your phone right now. And then his ministry is God's Miracle Ministries. And what that ministry is, is uh, about motorsports. And, and, and uh, before he was saved, he was in the dirt track racing. And uh, he is now using that to be able to further the gospel uh, because there's people out there that don't know Jesus. And, and, and you're going to go out and hand out flyers. You're, you're looking for somebody to wrap your car. Not like toilet paper wrap it, right? No, but wrap their car, and uh, and uh, so that way you can represent Jesus on there. And uh, man, this is a life turned around. Can we praise the Lord for that? He's awesome. We love you, man. Love you. Amen. Amen.